Hey everyone, this is Ellie May with Swift Crate Customs, and I had a request to do a video on my thoughts after the first year with the new Caesar machines and software. So today I'm gonna share a few things. Hopefully it doesn't get too long. I do have some notes here so that I can make sure to touch on the points that I've thought of, but I wanna share with you how I feel after using these machines. Now I've been using Caesar Juliet and Leonardo Design Studio since before it was released to the public. I am one of the beta testers. Um, I've had the machine uh, before it was available and was and have been testing it. So I do a lot of testing behind the scenes on things to try to make sure that it's ready to go before it gets released. Um, a note on that is that while we have beta testers that do testing before it's released to the public, there are times that it just doesn't get caught. It doesn't affect all users the same way. Um, Windows users might ha not have any issues and Mac users have issues. I'll touch on that a little bit more down the road, but that's why you see those differences. Even when something is released, it, it affects users differently or it can. And typically, when we have the beta testers, our computers are a little either higher specs or differences. There can be a lot of different variables that play into the factor. So, and this goes for any software that you're testing or you're working with. When it's released to the general public, that's when you can start to see a lot more things pop up. Just because you might use your software a little bit different than I use it, even though I've tried to test what I could. So. On that note, I love the Caesar Juliet and Romeo machines. Absolutely love them. I needed them at the right time when they came into it. I needed a challenge. I have loved learning these machines and the new Caesar Leonardo Design Studio software. For me, that's awesome. It's great to uh, challenge myself to be able to use it. Um, I've come a long way in the year and it is different software. Um, it functions different, it works different, the steps are different. So if you're coming from the Silhouette or Cricut side where it's a craft cutter and everything is almost done for you, these machines and the software are different. Um, they were released and they haven't gone back on that. They were released as a more professional style machine. That's why you see that the machines load differently. It's, it doesn't have an auto position like a Silhouette or a Cricut. That's not how it was designed. It was designed for the user to be in charge. And that's one of the things I really love about the machines is the user has control. Pretty much when I go through all my machines, I started with Cricut years, almost 20 years ago now. Um, started with Cricut. I ran their software, which was on a CD at the time, through the paces, I maxed it out, I couldn't get any farther in it, and then through the powers that be, I won a silhouette portrait in a digital scrapbooking contest of all things. And that was a new challenge for me, that I expanded my experiences and learning, and um, I've taken that through the paces. And I've I teach silhouette, I teach on the Swift Crate Customs channel for the Caesar, Juliet, Romeo, and Leonardo. I love that there are new things that come up or different ways of doing things. So these are a more professional style machine. If you want it all done for you, then these machines probably aren't the ones that are going to be perfect for you. Now, I would say after a year after using it that these machines are excellent for adhesive vinyl, HTV, or cardstock. I've had great success with cardstock. It really depends on what kind of user you are. So if you're looking for an all-in-one machine, there really isn't an all-in-one machine. It doesn't matter what brand you're looking at. Some machines are better at one thing than another machine. And I have to reference my husband's wood shop. There is no all-in-one tool that does it all. There are specific tools that are designed to do things really, really well for a specific purpose. So it's the same thing when you get into cutting machines. So we have this era of machines that can utilize cutting without a cutting mat, but also utilize cutting with a mat. With that comes different challenges. 
So you, you have all these differences in machines. You have clearance on the tool housing. You have different functions in the machines. There really is not one machine out there that's all in one. Like we have a video on, can you cut wood? Well, I'll link that in the description below. Um, you know, it's not the right tool for the job. So it really is, you know, you need to think about it that way. So if you have, or coming say from Cricut, and there are things that that Cricut does, you might keep it around for a while. Maybe it'll start gathering dust, which we've seen a lot of people mention in the Facebook group that there are older machines just gather dust after they work with the Caesar, Juliet, and Romeo. That's fine. You can always get rid of that machine or pass it on to somebody else, but you can't always get the machine back. So I do recommend keeping uh, whatever machines you currently have on hand just as a backup or as something that you want to do. There may be a specific function that that machine does well that these machines probably don't. So I really do think the precision cutting on the Romeo and Juliet, the print and cut, uh, accuracy on Romeo and Juliet and um, the control. So those are my top three things is, that I really, really like. Um, I like I like the being in control of things. I like being able to set the blade depth and change the blade depth. Um, again, if you don't want that amount of control, this may not be your machine. Um, they are speedy. They are zippy. Um, but it's not always great to cut at a super fast speed. Um, they are really great machines that bridge that gap between your craft cutting machines and your more professional machines. Is it for everybody? No. But I also think that Silhouette isn't for everybody. Some people, cutting machines in general, aren't going to be for them. Um, that's just in general. I, we deal with thousands and thousands of people. So... Those are my top three. That would be um, precision cuts, pr print and cut, and control over everything. Now, my background coming from Silhouette, I can get all the Silhouette machines to do all of that too. I have no issues with print and cut because I do the same things over and over again. I follow the instructions. I follow the steps. Um, with the Caesar Leonardo uh, software, it is different. It's that's just the bottom line of it. It's different. Um, it's different than Silhouette uh, Business Edition or Silhouette Studio. It's a different software. It's not going to function the same. So top three. Now, something I have realized through the Facebook group, even though it's, I think it's a little over 2000 members um, currently, but even in just a year, it is a new machine. Um, a lot of users have questions, especially users coming from Cricut, which we see a lot, a high percentage of users who were former Cricut users or are coming from that side of things. I think Cricut has been the highest number of people who have turned to the Caesar, Juliet, and Romeo, according to what we see when they join the group with the questions asked. Um, troubleshooting. They, since these are more professional machines and the user is in control, more of the all of the settings of everything um, troubleshooting is a little bit more difficult just because there are so many variables and there are times i just have to say i'm sorry you have to contact caesar support and that's for several reasons one I, it takes hours and hours and hours of troubleshooting and we can go back and forth and the user doesn't always isn't always willing to do that um, and sometimes it's especially with new machines it's the questions I ask are very specific and they need very specific answers or you have to follow the steps very specifically. Um, and if somebody doesn't do that, then it just prolongs the troubleshooting. But there's also things that so many variables in it that I don't, I, can, I can't troubleshoot with that. Um, it, an example is Wi-Fi connections. Um, everybody's equipment is different. Everybody's setup is different. Where I'm recording this video right now is one of the farthest parts in my house away from my router. Yet, I have not had any issues. Um, I, I, let me rephrase that. I had one issue this week when I went to connect to Romeo, but I don't think it had anything to do with my router. It was because I hadn't connected to Romeo in a while. He wanted some love. And I had to reestablish the Wi-Fi connection. 
but I didn't know that until I actually had a cut go wrong. And then it told me it couldn't connect again. Once I reestablished that connection, it was perfectly fine. Um, again, there's so many different factors into the setup. Um, people's Wi-Fi worldwide, we are dealing with global users here. And my setup isn't gonna be the same as somebody else's setup. So I do have to defer some things to Caesar support. Um, and in general, there are times where I defer to Caesar support because they need to be aware of the issue. And if I'm fixing it for everybody, that's not solving it if it is an actual issue that needs to be addressed within the software or the actual machines. So there are topics that I have to defer or should defer to Caesar support. Now, the other great thing is sometimes Caesar support defers them back to me because there are issues that support is there to identify issues. They're not there to provide one-on-one -on -one training for every single user worldwide. They don't have time to do that. There is not a staff in the entire world that is set up to do one-on-one -on -one training for every user worldwide. They are more professional machines. They are going to take time to learn. And the biggest thing that you can do is be patient with yourself. Um, there are a ton of videos on the Swift Creek Customs YouTube channel that I have tried to make very user friendly and cover the topics that I have either seen requested or that I use and to provide those step-by-step -step instructions for that. But there are so many specific different things that each user is doing that sometimes they're, I don't know about it until somebody asks. So it, troubleshooting has been um, more difficult, I would say, but it's also the first year. So it's new for everybody. Now, um, covered connections, Wi-Fi. Um, updates. Um, in the beginning, updates were coming at us really, really fast. There were some days that I was um, chasing my tail, trying to keep up with testing every single thing that was gonna be put out. Um, that has slowed down. Some of that's due to the, it's not, as, it's not new, like they're not trying to implement as many new things at the same time for the users. Um, some of that, and I will fully admit that I get impatient too. I'm back here twiddling my thumbs, waiting for updates of things that were coming out months ago, but I haven't seen them yet. Um, patience, uh, that's a big thing. Caesar is, has been awesome to work with. I work very closely with them. I can get answers when I need them. Like I just know who to go to and I have those contacts. So it has been very, very great. Um, the, uh, since I work closely with them, I also understand the side that people don't see. And that is that it's not always in their control. Um, for instance, Mac OS updates. So even if they had updates ready to push out to us for testing and to get ready, that Mac OS update hit and I mean, I hate Mac OS updates. Let me, I'll just say it, I hate it. It has nothing to do with just Caesar. It's not just Caesar. In general, Mac OS updates mess with so many things and it's not something that can be fixed before it's released. Um, they, Apple releases some of the details and they do have some prior testing, but it's not major. And remember I said, it doesn't affect all users the same way. But what we find, if <laughs> the longer you're in the industry, you pick up on these things, um, you find that they have a little blurb, a description of what has been released, but there's also some hidden things in there that are not always um, given to the public. And the only way to know is when users start to report issues. So I get frustrated, um, but it's not always in the company's control. And in general, so both Caesar Silhouette, no matter who you're working with, in general software, when Apple does their OS updates, um, you know, they're working with different, a, a software company can be working, have their, um, try to explain this the best I can, because <laughs> I, uh, I don't know all the tech jargon for it. So uh, you have a mainframe software that the um, Leonardo goes through and that mainframe is a different company that has to figure out what Mac is, has changed or updated. So
So a company has to wait for another company to get figure it out, and then they have to figure out what, how that affects them on that end. So it's like a trickle down. So Apple releases it, everything explodes. <laughs> Hopefully not. Um, but the other factor is, is it doesn't affect all users the same way because everybody has different equipment. So it gets to be really frustrating. But it's also, I understand that, especially when you get a Mac OS update release and it really causes problems with a software, other things have to be pushed aside to fix that first. And then we can get back to the regularly scheduled things. So that's probably a longer explanation than anybody wanted to know. Um, in wrapping this up, I still love the Caesar Juliet and the Romeo. I use them all the time. I, but I also still use my other cutting machines too. And if you follow me on the Silhouette Secrets YouTube channel, um, you know, they release new machines too. And I've been testing and I've been putting information out on those. Um, I, I do both, but I also work with Glowforge, laser cutting, sublimation. There's just so many things. Once you go down the rabbit hole, you're there. Um, I'll link in the description below the video I did comparing Silhouette with um, Caesar, and I, I, nothing's changed there. Um, I think they're both great brands of cutting machines. I think they hit different user markets, and it's not for everybody. But even just cutting machines in general, it's not for everybody. There's some people oh, that should be told to box it back up. Patience takes time to learn things. We're all learning together and I just, I love them. Um, I have loved working with Caesar and testing the new machines and the challenge that it's brought to me. Um, I really, you know, enjoy the projects that I can turn out this precision cutting. Oh my gosh, it's awesome. Um, I, and even the hours and hours it took me to weed that. I enjoy the process. I am a user. I am a creator. I'm a maker. I use the machines. I don't sell anything except Silhouette classes. Um, and I teach classes. I go to events, I teach classes. I don't sell products. I use the machines, I craft with the machines. I like to see what we can do with it. So um, I'm really enjoying it. I'm still enjoying the machines. They are, um, I keep them in pristine condition. I don't like any marks or anything to clutter them, but, um, that's it. I, I hope that has helped or, you know, gives you an idea of some of the things that happen behind the scenes that people don't always think about. Um, do keep in mind that other cutting machine companies are 15, 20, 30 years old and Caesar brought out, they saw a need. They brought out these new machines to see what would happen to test the market. They are um, their main product was heat transfer vinyl beforehand, but they have branched out into some other things as well. Uh, Caesar Easy Color DTV, love it. Um, I have videos on that too. But they're new. They're the baby on the market. They're growing. Um, and with that, there's challenges and frustrations and different things. But they've been great to work with and they do listen. They have implemented things. And I look forward to seeing what's to come with the Caesar Cutting Machines, Leonardo Design Studio software, and with all of you. Thanks for joining me. I hope it's helped a little bit and watch for more information coming out soon. Have a great day.